E. <coughs> e. E. Mm hmm. E. E. No, it's not right. Maybe, maybe that. Yeah, I think that's right. Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go and fail with the perspective jumping as usual. But no, we're actually going to the Jiggy Wiggy Temple to unlock the next area here. So let's go. Well, we're already going, but we got to get inside, of course. And what do you have to say? What do you have to say about me getting enough jiggies? Bad magic by you is next. Oh boy, I told you the next place would be stinky. I wasn't lying about it. So now I gotta go back up to the altar and then they will direct you in the right direction to wherever that level is. Don't worry, I already know where it is. In fact, I can now take a shortcut to it because I have the flip flap so I can get a higher jump. I can actually go straight up there. And there it is, at Spiral Rise. And, wow, I'm, I'm almost ready to unlock the next level if I wanted to. I'm that far ahead. Oh. I thought you might have something else to say that might be interesting, but nope, you don't. You just have a generic speech. Just replace this part of the text with how many jiggies you need and how many you have, and there you go. <laughs> Anyway, what I'm going to do is go right over here, and I'm going to do a little more exploring at uh, Spiral Mountain, just because... Uh, so you can, now, you, now you can get up here, despite how it looks with the perspective that you couldn't get up there before. Oh, this jiggy in the tree here, it has to do with this cracked ground. You can't do anything about that right now, so you're going to have to leave it be, but we're going to get the move to get that soon. This is where Briegel Beach was, and you can get up there like so another way. It's it's very well designed overworld in that you have shortcuts of sorts. You can also go all the way on top of some levels like so. Um, I don't really think that's that there's much I can show you come to think of it at the uh, Spiral Mountain here. I mean, granted there's a couple of notes that I can get. Uh, maybe what I should do is go upgrade my health. Oh shoot! Shouldn't have grabbed that. I was at full health, wasn't I? Ah, it worked out. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't think I should go here just yet. I think I'm just upgrade my health. And... Oh, I can actually get that Jiggy over there. Maybe I should do that. Clearly, I'm confused this part, because there's so many things I can do. <laughs> but to get up there, I'm going to have to go up these. Go straight through here. And you remember this. I got plenty this time! Well, not this time. I had plenty before, but I mean... Yeah, you get what I'm saying here. Yay! And I don't have enough. But that's good enough to help me for the next world. Mm, okay, let's do this one here. Um, I should show you the path of where this Jiggy is going to appear so that you can get an idea. There are a couple of things that you can jump up here, and the Jiggy will appear above the spot. But it's... A perspective puzzle. <laughs> so, when you retrace your steps through here, when you jump off the top to do this, you'll see what I mean. You want to jump straight off the side and you'll end up landing on this bridge. That's the best path that I've been able to figure out on how to get that jiggy here. It might, might take me a couple tries to get this. But right, there's a Jinjo. Alright, get ready. Whack it! Get your Talon Trot out. Hold L, hold L, press R. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Arrgh. Hopefully enemies will not get in my way. And then over here, flip flap, and you've got yourself the Jiggy. That worked out a lot better than I thought it would. But there we go. And now I'm going to, I guess, go back down here and start Bad Magic Bayou. Wait, wait, you got something to say? Guess I got another Jinjo. I did that! 
<laughs> that was a total waste of time. But I suppose not really, it was, it was kind of funny in a way. Now, finally, Bad Magic Bayou. Let's start! New music. Ooh, spooky. There's a lot of places that you go you can go here. Oh, this uh this part here, this green, this dark green part, pretty slippery. Yeah. Just so I would make a mention of that, so you're gonna need the talon shot to get through that. And here's our first move. Can't you read the upper right corner banjo? <laughs> I love how the characters always insult each other in Banjo-Kazooie games as well. It gives them a lot of life. Alright. So now we have... Oh, pff, I didn't mean to do that. Well, actually, what what, what, are, what do you have to say if I talk to you again? Why not? That's all? Just telling me about the Reddit? Oh, fine. And this new enemy here is known as Bogfoot. Yeah, Bigfoot. Slash Bogfoot. And th these guys are Champas, I believe. Come on, just poke your. <laughs> you want to kill them with the Ratatat wrap, and I'm just going around here for the sake of. Maybe I should actually go up to the top before I continue that area, come to think, because I need the move for that cracked ground there, and yeah, I just needed that move to get through this, because there's more Champas popping out of these holes. Whenever, whenever you see a hole in a wall like that, you can almost be sure that there is going to be a Champa there, so be very careful about that. Just always make sure that you're ratatata wrapping before... Yeah, you get what I'm saying. It's ratatata wrap. I'm just kind of messing up my words on purpose. Yeah, there was another Champa there. And here is... Oh, here's an, this is a new enemy as well. This is the Sting Lash. It's just like the Whip Lash, except it takes off two from your health. Here's the next move of the game. This will help me get that Jiggy in that tree over uh, south of the swamp, back at Spiral Mountain. This is <laughs> Another suggestive moment here. And that's what those cracks on the ground indicate. Whenever you see one of them, you're able to build drill them and shake down whatever is around them. It's kind of odd that it's indicated by cracks and not something else. I mean, you would think if you're drilling through something, you know, you would go into it. But the idea of the build drill in this game is to knock stuff out of things. It's kind of odd like that. Oh, we haven't seen any uh, germuloids just yet. But he's giving you a little tip on what they are like. They're an enemy that basically homes in on you and then you have to shake them off by pressing the d-pad in crazy directions really fast and there we go and that's the Jinjo right out of the tree uh, you can jump down there for a shortcut I suppose but I'm not gonna do that just yet because there is the third and final move that I can get in here and come on let me there we go <laughs> Uh, actually, no, I didn't see that honeycomb just yet, but I do know that it's there. <laughs> so now we got battery eggs. Those toll holes kind of reminds you of the um, toll holes back in... Uh, I can't think of the name in Banjo-Kazooie. Ah, I'm kicking myself right now. Well, maybe not literally, but figuratively. But you, anyway, you shoot out eggs in those holes, and you'll be able to get what's inside them. So, get that out. Press the R button to switch between eggs. You'll, you have two types right now. There's multiple types of eggs. Spit as many eggs as you need to in each hole that's numbered. Voila! And put away your gun. <laughs> and in this area, there are these enemies here. They're known as Spookos. Well, they're green versions of the Spookos. They are completely invulnerable to what you have right now, so be careful of them. Another hole in the wall, so you gotta be careful of the Champas. Uh, you can't go through here, despite it looks, you know, you're right at the end of, edge of the screen there. Uh, this is the lab, and I need our new eggs. 
to get these platforms moving. In fact, I'm gonna need our egg refill, come to think of it. Uh, because there's a couple other things. Oh, that's a black gruntling. It's not really much different than the other gruntlings. Uh, I need to get up there using the moving platforms, but I... Oh, I can use those eggs to refill. Good! They were reading my mind. <laughs> the game is always good about, uh... Giving you what you need, and... Oh, poopers. That's right, I gotta ride the other platform before I can activate that platform. I'm, it was a force of habit, based on my knowledge of where the platforms are. Anyway, get your buddy out. And... wait. Wait. Wait, wow, that enemy... I mean, enemies have a really, really quick respawn time here. Alright, that's what you need to spit into. And that makes this platform move, which will allow you to get over to the Jiggy! Who would have guessed? And that's pretty much all you can do over here. At least in the mansion part of here. Wait, actually, maybe... I'm, t I'm thinking of that area, but there's actually an upstairs... But there's another uh, mansion area that I'm thinking of a little bit later. <laughs> Dang it! So you really got. I knew you were there too, and I jumped up and pressed the B button, but I was too late. Ah, I'm just getting hit by blind enemy. Well, it's not blind enemies because I know they're there. There's no enemy there. Strangely, I don't know why there's not. Perspective. <laughs> there we go. And be careful of the Champa around the corner that's coming here. Um, not in this room. It's in another room. Uh, since I've been taking some hits... Oh, great, the question mark one. Oh, it's kind of fast. Oh, I got it! Yeah! Good old reaction time. You are my buddy. And then this one is the one you want to look out for. There's a couple more in these... eaten out portraits. And over here, I think you can see what's coming. Oh. If you didn't see that coming, I would be very surprised. <laughs> Boss time! Plungo, the revenge! Yeah, you can't go in that swamp water as it'll cause damage to you in case you didn't realize that from uh, um, before that the characters mentioned it. Although, I shouldn't say that you will be able to go in that water later, but not in your current form. Hint, hint, wink, wink. And uh-oh, now he's invisible! New gimmick added to the fight! The invisibility actually makes the Klungo fights a lot trickier. Klungo, Klungo, not sure how to pronounce it actually. It could be either one, I like saying Klungo personally. It's still not all that hard, but you gotta... When he turns his... Not turns. Uh, when his shield fails him, you've gotta kinda roll around blindly and hope that you run into him. It's not all that hard to do, it's just a matter of... It's a guessing game, because you don't know where he is. He moves in a random direction every time his shield... Oops! Shield goes off, and then you gotta kinda pick him out from there and hope that you're where he is. And he, you can tell that he flickers a little bit when he's, you know, where he is, so his invisibility potion is definitely not perfect by any means, but, you know, that would be kind of unfair. <laughs> there we go. Get him, get him. Oh, 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 oh. oh that's what I mean. Because <laughs> I rolled in the direction that he wasn't, and I ended up failing, but that's okay. It's not a hard boss, you just gotta... Gotta be on your toes. His, his attack patterns are still virtually identical. Mm, yeah! Well, he's doomed. Grunty's gonna have his head. <laughs> and that gives me a mumbo token and a jiggy. And I think that's all for the manor part of this, actually come to think of it, so this might actually be a good time to end off this part. How did I miss that note before when I came through here? That's it's scary that, that I managed to miss something so obvious. <laughs> and how do you, Why am I taking so much damage now? Arr! I'm clearly not in the right state of mind, but then again, I am the crazy gaming guy, so that, that doesn't really make 
all that much of a difference. Everything should go as planned then. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think I indeed cleared out the manor. So, with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part.